Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to Qigong in the morning. It's a short 10 to 15 minutes where we're gonna work on something specific for ourselves and really open up the energy flow of our body so you can have what you need for the rest of the day, maybe the rest of the week, because you can watch this as many times as you want. Today we're working on resilience and the feeling of peaceful joy, this opening up of the body. We're gonna learn how to let the body open up from the inside out so no matter how rough or how maybe tired or gloomy the day or you might feel, there's always a way to open up and to reconnect to that thing that can move you and keep you, keep you growing, keep you, keep you going higher, okay? And we're gonna work with that. The resiliency is a soft breath. So follow along with me for the next 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna get your day started nicely or if you're watching this any other time during the day, we're gonna get that energy flowing through you and rejuvenating you. Today, we're gonna to do something called opening the heart to the sky. We're going to use what's the technique of medical Qigong where we, as we, we use the breath to create this beautiful pump through our body that moves energy, clears out anything stagnant and allows the rejuvenation of the body to kick in. And we're working on the lungs and the heart today, which is about joy and peace. Perfect for resiliency and moving forward and staying in power. Okay, so we're gonna start keeping our feet, our shoulder width, toes pointed forward, yeah, to the best of our ability. We're gonna have our knees slightly bent. I'm gonna invite you to have your hands over your lower dantian. This is the sacral chakra equivalent, all right? It's about centered about two finger widths below the navel. And for ladies, it's right hand first, left hand on top. Gentlemen, left hand first, right hand on top. It balances the yin and the yang of the body. Okay, for each one of us. And here we're gonna take a few clearing breaths, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through a pinhole, through a mouth. As you breathe in, breathing in positivity and light into the body. And as you breathe out, releasing any stresses and anything else that doesn't belong. Breathing in that positivity sensing yourself flowing and through your body as you inhale. And as you exhale, releasing any stresses, anything that needs to leave. As you inhale, sensing yourself flowing that vitality through your body, right down to your feet even, softly. And as you exhale, feeling yourself melting away, little by little. Good. Taking a couple of more on your own breath. One more, finishing up your current breath. Good, we're going to lower our hands to our sides, simply sensing the state of our body, connecting to our body. Whatever thoughts are happening, if they're happening, no need to worry about them, just connecting to the feeling of your body, whatever part of your body you connect with right now. And now we're gonna open our eyes if they're closed and we're gonna begin by shaking it out. Shaking it out, oh, this is beautiful. It wakes up the body. This is actually, it is a part of Qigong and it helps us to release. So as you're doing this, you can feel your muscles release, feel your muscles soften and feel your body at the same time. I feel like this, Tingling starting to rise through my body, like a waking up of my fire, waking up of my body. We're gonna go side to side even, to the best of our ability. Good, even side out. Ah. Ah. Good. And bring our hands out, elbows out, hands out in front, shaking out the hands. Good, but wake up the body just a little bit. We're gonna lower the, lower the, the elbows, back of the hands still. And now the front of the hands, pushing that out. Good, pushing that out, nice and soft. We're not using muscle. The qigong is about softness. And hands above the head, shake it out. Good, lowering the hands back down. Beautiful, and let yourself kind of bounce slowly to a nice relaxed stillness. Beautiful. We're gonna shake up the legs just a bit. Shake it out, shake it out. Wake up the legs right down to the toes. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. There are many different 
aspects to Qigong. And today we're working with the breath as much as anything else. And the breath we're working with, we're some, we're, a lot of us, especially if we're used to working out or certain different, certain other practices involving breath, we may have learned to breathe loudly, like a big inhale or maybe a loud exhale. But Qigong, we want smooth, silent breath. It's still a full breath but it's silent to the best of your ability. Think of it like a baby's breath. How silent is a baby's breath? And it might surprise you how powerful this breath can be. This is the breath that really truly moves, moves the energy through our body, All right? So we're gonna practice this together. Keeping our feet, just relax, shoulder width. All right, so I'm gonna invite you to take normal breaths. You can close your eyes if you'd like or keep them open. And now as you inhale, feel yourself taking that smooth, silent breath, filling through your body. And as you exhale, that breath slowly relaxes, the body relaxes. As you inhale, you can feel that breath, I invite you to feel that breath almost expanding your body like a gentle balloon like a baby's breath softly, quietly, and exhale quietly, peacefully. The body relaxes. I'm gonna invite you now, as you inhale, to breathe into your legs. So send the breath down into your legs, right to your feet. Feel the expansion coming from that breath. And exhale, relaxing the breath, letting the legs relax all the way down to the feet and the toes. I want you to do that a couple more times. You're going to breathe in, sending the breath down into the feet. You can also feel the rest of the body expand, of course, but we're sending it into the feet as a primary focus. And breathing out, letting that relax, letting the legs relax. I'm going to do one more, breathing in. This is a very powerful breath. You can almost feel like the legs expanding like a gentle balloon and breathing out. Relax. What we're doing is we're priming the body for the main workout we're doing today. So we're going to breathe in now into the arms. So inhale, sending the breath into the arms. Make it soft. If we're getting lightheaded, we might be breathing too hard. Allow your breath to flow away from the head and into the limbs as you inhale. And as you exhale, letting the breath relax. teaching you how to breathe, breathing in, feeling the arms expand like soft balloons, like almost 360 degrees all the way through the arms, right to the fingertips, softly, quietly, and breathing out. One more. In your inhale, you're so silent that if somebody was to stand beside you, they wouldn't feel or hear you breathe, breathing in. And breathing out. I'm going to do one more with the whole body this time. So now inhale, feel yourself sending the breath into your feet and your arms, feeling the whole body expand, not just your limbs. You can feel the breath rising through the body, expanding through the body, and exhale, relax. Breath work is a powerful thing. One more, breathing in. Nice and relaxed. And breathing out, letting it relax back. Beautiful, I love this feeling. We can relax for a moment, just kind of shake it out, shake out the legs. We're gonna practice a movement called opening the heart to the sky today. I think I mentioned that already. This is one of my favorite simple, it's actually considered an opening stretch exercise and yet it is considered a meridian opening exercise. So in medical Qigong, we're actually opening the meridians that pertain to the organs we're working on, as well as creating a gentle pump that moves and open and, and that moves the circulation and the chi and the fluids through the organs too. So the organs need us to help them create a pump because the organs themselves are like sphincter, the organs are like sponges. And when the sponges need to contract gently and expand gently to, to allow them to detoxify, to get all that crap out, all right? Because we're working on the lungs and the heart, that's joy and peace. That's perfect for resilience. Right? We don't want to be overjoyed. That burns us out. When we're too peaceful. We're just going to, mm, nothing's happening. Joy and peace. So let's practice this together. We're going, to, we're going to bring our feet together now. 
We're going to inhale as we bring our hands up to heart level. Exhaling, elbows are straight, pointing our fingers, looking up, pointing our pinky fingers up to the sky. Inhale, feeling our body expand like we just practiced. As you inhale, as you exhale, we're going to hug ourselves underneath. And keeping your hands at the hug position, continuing to exhale, feeling the lungs gently squeeze and the heart gently squeeze as you exhale. Release down, inhale, feeling the heart space expand, the lungs expand, feeling our body expand right to our fingertips and our toes. Feeling the stretch through our hands as well, interesting. And exhale. Continuing that exhale through. And feeling the, the lungs, the exhale squeezes the lungs gently, the heart gently. Release, inhale, expand. Feeling that gentle expansion through the body. That exhale, we're not using muscle. So we're gonna inhale and exhale. We're not using muscle to hold ourselves. We're using softness, our fascia is holding. And then we continue to exhale. Release, inhale. Feeling the body space expand, the heart, the lungs open beautifully, right to the fingertips, feeling that breath. And one more exhale. Continuing the exhale through. Release, inhale. Feel yourself expand through the body. Beautifully, we're gonna bring our hands in front. Continue the exhale. exhale here, slapping our thighs to release. We're going to inhale, reaching up for the energy of the universe. And exhale, balancing our body, balancing our energy, settling our energy through our body. Two more. We're going to breathe in, reaching up for that energy of the universe. And breathing out. Any excess energy settles into our lower abdomen, into our Lower Dantian, our sacral chakra. One more time, breathing in the energy of the universe and breathing out, balancing our lower Dantian, balancing the energy into our lower Dantian. Opening our hands to the sides, connecting the positive energy all around us. Feeling that energy in the palms of our hands or sensing it like light or a feeling of whatever that might be in our hands. We all feel it differently, scooping up positive energy and bringing that into our lower Dantian, into that sacral chakra center, two finger widths below the navel. Getting ready for you there, we're gonna integrate and store some of that energy that you've collected or woken up in your sacral chakra, the lower Dantian, two finger widths below the navel, three finger widths inside the body, is a pink pearl that stores our extra energy. Connect within whatever way resonates with you. There's no science in this sense. It's all about just feeling and what feels right. Now, as you inhale gently like a baby's breath, sensing the pink pearl, collecting the extra energy and growing as it collects it, and as you exhale softly, the pink pearl gently compresses back, storing the chi away. Breathing in, pink pearl expands as it collects the chi. And breathing out, pink pearl gently compresses back, storing the chi away. Relaxing the breath, integrating everything, toning Aum. Spelled A-U-M three times, breathing in. Aum. Breathing in. Aum. And breathing in. If they're closed, relaxing our stance, we're gonna just shake out, uh, brush our body. So we're shaking out, getting rid of anything that is, doesn't belong, any excess that needs to be get rid of, we shake that out, our neck, our face, good, over the top of our head, 
Sending that down, balancing the energy across our body, the front of our legs, the back of our legs, the sides, right to our feet. If we can, putting our hands on our feet, bending our knees if we need to, feeling our groundedness, our connection to the earth. And then very slowly coming right back up. Gonna close off beautifully. Have an amazing day or an amazing end to your day, depending when you're watching this. Close off that bow. Right hand makes a fist. This is a Chinese art after all. Left hand is love. It goes on top. Love conquers all. And we bow. Much love. Join me for next week when we do another theme for the week. We get into more experience of Qigong. Much love and have an amazing, resilient, vibrant week ahead.